The um, executive session will come to order. And I, I welcome members for this first executive session of the 117th Congress. Um, on Thursday, January 21st, the committee held a thorough hearing to consider Mr. Put uh, Peter Buttigieg's nomination to serve as Secretary of Transportation in the Biden administration. Most of the members of the committee participated in the hearing and engaged in a robust discussion with this impressive nominee regarding his experience, views, and ideas on important transportation policy issues. After the hearing, many members submitted questions for the record, and Mayor Buttigieg has provided written responses to these, these questions. Additionally, the committee has carefully considered the supporting background documents which accompanied Mr. Buttigieg's nomination. I expect support for this nominee to be bipartisan. Indeed, uh, the committee was presented with a generous endorsement from Indiana's senior senator, Senator Todd Young. So this morning, the committee will vote on the nomination of Mayor Buttigieg to serve as Transportation Secretary. I now turn to my friend, Senator Cantwell, for her opening statement and ask other committee members to wait until the vote has concluded for any additional remarks on Mr. Buttigieg's nomination. Senator Cantwell. Well, Mr. Chairman, usually the rule is when you have the votes, don't talk. So, but I would, I would say I, I greatly appreciate uh, the, the nominee, uh, Pete Buttigieg, being before the committee, being marked up today, and the reception from this committee on a bipartisan effort to work on transportation policy issues. As someone who had served our country as the United States Navy reservist, including deployment in Afghanistan, he also, as a Rhodes Scholar, showed impressive understanding of the future of our transportation policies and the major changes that they are going through, and a granular level of transportation infrastructure issues, being a mayor in a Midwestern town where you have to stretch every dollar, including public-private partnerships, including uh, one of those projects was the South Shore Double Track Project, with whose full funding grant agreement was signed earlier this month. So I think he understands what all of us uh, have to deal with with transportation infrastructure. And I appreciate what he had to say about freight and the movement of freight. I'm interested in his nomination moving quickly through the Senate. Our COVID pandemic continues to impact all sectors of our economy, particularly transportation. I think the chairman knows how much each COVID package uh, our committee played a major role on those transportation COVID dollars. So I would hope that uh, we would have our transportation secretary very soon so we could work on those transportation issues in the next package. I plan on asking uh, President uh, Biden and hopefully Secretary Buttigieg what they are going to do to help prioritize vaccines to those critical transportation workers who are moving food product. We are now seeing international news, national news, and local news about the challenges we are facing with moving food, and I want to make sure that our transportation infrastructure workers are prioritized to get those vaccines and we can continue to move product through the United States. So thank you, Mr. Chairman. I enthusiastically endorse this nomination, and I ask my colleagues to support it as well. Senator Cantwell yields back three minutes and one second. I now recognize Senator Cantwell for a motion. Mr. Chairman, I move the nomination of Pete Buttigieg of Indiana to be Secretary uh, of Transportation of the United States Department of Transportation. You've heard the motion. Is there a second? second. Motion has been made and seconded. The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Thune. Mr. Blunt. Mr. Cruz. Mrs. Fisher. Mr. Moran. Mr. Sullivan, Mrs. Blackburn, Mrs. Capito, Mr. Lee, Mr. Johnson, Mr. Young, Mr. Scott, Ms. Cantwell, Ms. Klobuchar, Mr. Blumenthal, Aye. Mr. Schatz, Mr. Markey. Aye by proxy. Aye by proxy. Mr. Peters. Aye. Ms. Baldwin. Aye. 
Ms. Duckworth? Aye by proxy. Mr. Tester? Aye. Ms. Cinema? Aye. Ms. Rosen? Aye. Mr. Young? Aye. Mr. Wicker? Aye. The ayes are 21, the noes are three. The nomination is agreed to. And the motion carries. Votes have now concluded. Are there, and, and uh, uh, the chair very much wishes to thank members for being here promptly. I know there are uh, many other constraints on their time. Uh, do members wish to be heard on any matter? If not, this executive session is adjourned. <laughs>